this is the wonderful this is my this is my new nerd buddy Angela this is our second conversation today because I messed up with zoom we had a great chat earlier all about her business and what's been going on and I completely messed up streaming into the group so I just messaged her and I was like tail between my legs like no so she's thank you so much for doing it again no worries <laughs> So everyone, this is Angela. She is a BYE member. And um, sometimes I just, I see people in the group that are just doing their thing and that are, that are following the steps and making it happen. And um, I just had to like sidebar message her and I'd be like, can I please, please, please pick your brain to see what it is that you're doing to make everything work. And then we had a wicked chat earlier. So we're just gonna, you know, give you guys the shortened version of it, but you guys have to meet her. She's She's absolutely incredible. I'm fascinated by you and how techy you've become in just over two years. Um, <laughs> can, how about we just start by you introducing yourself and what you do and what your business is? Sure. So uh, my, my name is Angela and um, I'm a duo with my husband, Victor. We are the Miles Factor and we are nonprofit strategists and consultants. We help nonprofits and churches learn how to build community programs so they can get funding. So and cool. That's our, our whole uh, dedication there. <laughs> That's your jam. That's so awesome. Yes. So I want to talk, there's so many people that are going to be listening to this that have tried to launch an online business and they're dabbling and it's kind of like things are just not working. Like things are not taking off yet. And as someone who's just been there, you've, you, you know, you've had a couple failed launches and things are just starting to work now. I want to just, you know, pick your brain on that. Like what has your overall online marketing journey been like? Like when did you start and what has the process been for you? Sure. So back in 2016, when my husband and I, we turned our nonprofit programs over to another agency because we were going full-time consulting. And this was probably about May of 2016. And we started right into doing uh, consulting work. And we realized after a short period of time that one-to-one -one services on their own were, was not something that we could keep up with, especially after my husband fell on some sometimes of injury and illness. And then I had to take care of him. You know, he had, went from a torn rotator cuff to a blood clot to a Achilles tendon tear. And so it was quite a bit. And so we couldn't keep up that traction with working with clients one-on-one. -on -one. And so we decided to go into the online world and, and we really thought we needed to do something with courses uh, for a few reasons, not just because we couldn't do it one-on-one -on -one too much, but also because a lot of the people that we really had a passion to help, they just couldn't afford the services for one-on-one. -on -one. So we figured to be able to bottle up our processes into a course process. We didn't know how to really create a course or get online, but we started that journey and really just started diving in. And we realized there was a whole new, another world that was out there we had never tapped into, didn't know about. We didn't come up with the idea of courses. People were already doing that for years. And when I jumped in, we realized there was a big learning curve, a lot that we had to learn, but we really want to make it work. So we started doing the whole process and I've gone from doing everything from building out an entire course and then hearing crickets when you open the, the gate to, you know, trying to do another beta before and the, tra the traction and the traffic just wasn't there. And, you know, it was heartbreaking after doing that. I remember doing 24 hours and then, then getting on a live webinar, showing up for four people, still trying to make it happen. And it still didn't happen because every, something was just off. Either the messaging wasn't off. Our clientele wasn't right you know, the way we were getting our traffic. So we really needed to know that we needed to do something different. And so a few months back, I uh, found Steph on Facebook through one of her ads and really saw that her launch planner, 90 day launch planner was something unique and different. And I figured, hey, I've tried webinar courses. I've tried course courses and, you know, Instagram, but how do I really find out how to put this together? And that's what the launch uh, planner was about. And I was blown away like, yeah, this makes sense to me because I'm very, you know, plan oriented. And when I uh, started stalking her for a few months to see what she was all about, I realized that her messaging was on point. Everything was looking good. And I felt like th this was someone that could actually help us to get to the next level. And lo and behold, we enrolled in the B BYE program. And within just probably a six weeks of enrolling, we uh, launched our first beta with the BYE engine and we were successful with the beta and got nine sign up, I'm sorry, seven signups for our beta at a 497 price point. So that was amazing. And the margins you have are incredible. And thank you, first of all, thank you so much for, for sharing that. 
there's so much in there where I just like, I, I just went through a roller coaster of emotions listening to you <laughs> the story because I've had the story of the, you try, you try, you put your heart into it. Like, I don't think people that don't do this, like, I don't think they really understand, like when you are trying to tackle something and you have no idea what any of it means, like you're, you know, you want to build an online business. And the minute you decide that you discover this whole world of things I didn't know that I didn't know that I didn't even know. Right. And you just, you just like take it on and just piece by piece. And it's an emotional process because there's, and as a coach and like, even, you know, you've been through this now and it's one of those things where I'm glad that I did it, but I never want to do it again. Like learning those (laughs) things, you know, troubleshooting those things, all of the, you know, the times that you're doing things and everything goes to waste. And it's just like, that's the, the phase that I wish I could just like scoop people out of that, but everyone has to go through it because there is a learning curve. And no matter what I do or say as a coach, you just got to you just got to do it. Right. You just got to dive in. So what would you say to someone who like, here's the truth. The truth is a lot of people quit where, you know, probably where you would have been somewhere in 2017, right? Mm -hmm. Because you start and you're all bright eyed, bushy tail. You're like this online thing. I'm going to scale. Don't have to do one-on-one anymore. Create the (laughs) course and you know, everything. And then you go and then things don't work. And Mm -hmm. that is where most people say online is not for me. It doesn't work. So to someone who is trying, plugging away, doing everything they think they should be doing and things are not working yet. What would you tell them to get to where you are now, where you, first of all, like talking to you, like it's clear you're, you're completely techie. You're a true like online marketer. Like this is my jam. So that took you, you know, believing and continuing. So what would you say to someone who's you know, maybe where you were 2017 and is thinking about letting go. Right. You know what I mean? I would say, trust the process. Trust that you have something that is amazing inside that you need to get out to uh, people that are just waiting to hear something about, you know, what you have. You have something that someone has a problem that needs to be solved. And Mm -hmm. our problem in the meantime is that we're trying to figure out how to get it to them. So Mm -hmm. If you continue on this journey and just trust the process and just go step by step, don't try to take the shortcuts. That's where I figured out that I failed because of course you think you know some things or you think I know how, you know, people that I work with think and and you really don't. You really don't know uh, all of these processes. But once I understood and I told um, my husband and I, we decided we're going to just trust the process, do everything so that we can't say that it didn't work um, and really see what I love that so much. (laughs) <laughs> so much I wish everybody did that do everything so that you can't say that it didn't work like if I could just stamp that <laughs> yeah sorry go ahead that was big for us to just say okay if we can say that we truly did everything that they said to do and it didn't work then we know that something is off it's just not meant to be maybe or whatever but when, when we can truly say that we took the time to deliver on every single piece that they said and it and it becomes uh overwhelming sometimes because you think in our mind especially as as creative and visionary people we want to just get things out there and let people know about it and the greatest thing that (laughs) one of the videos you said Steph was you know don't worry about trying to create those blogs for those three people that are reading it and you know posting on Instagram doing it for the gram and going on Facebook you don't even have any followers or anything yet and that really resonated with me because I was going to try to build this whole I wanted to be a a brand where you know you could do it all content creation going on but it's true if you don't even have anyone that's paying you for your advice and your help how much more can they you know trust you when you're putting all of this trying to put all this free out information out there and no one's there to listen so that's when we stopped and said I'm going to stop doing all of that. So literally our page on Facebook and Instagram and our group, everything kind of li- would dormant for, for yeah. weeks yeah. while we were re getting this online. And I trusted the process and said, okay, let me do this. Start with the offer, you know, do, do these pages, get your lead magnet, right? Do all of these things the right way, connect them all first. Right. And uh, I love the last checklist that's, that w- where you have to go over in the course where you say, did you do this? If not, stop and go back. You know? <laughs> it's <laughs> so like choose your adventure. Yes, I know. I know. So it's not like you just jump. Okay, I'm ready to launch my engine. No, you're not. You, you didn't do this. Yes. Stop and go back. 
and, and do that. And then, so that was the discipline that I said, oh, I, I because that. I want people to follow my program and do what I'm telling yeah. them to do that works. So I've, I've got to be a good student and do the exact same thing. Oh my goodness, I, I wish, it's like, I wish, I wish everyone would just listen to this because it's so true. Like we forget that when we have a process, mm -hmm. we, you know, we want people to follow it step by step because we've seen it work for ourselves. We've seen it work for others. So we always have this mindset of like, just follow the steps. And no matter what I say, people always go off and, and end up doing their own thing. So <laughs> yeah. you, have, you have to, you have to trust the process. I wish I, I'm just going to like take that snip and like put that at the beginning of the course. Yes. Right? Trust but, the process. Trust the and process. then once, you know, once that happened and trusting the process and knowing our numbers, because I think that sometimes we'll shy away from things that we're not so comfortable with. And so I really wanted to learn the back end nuances of marketing, online marketing, because this is where we said we want to build our legacy. And so if you don't understand how it works, for me, that's that's something that I always have to dive more into. So I needed to understand what the numbers meant, what are conversions and ROIs and, you know, uh, getting these the A-B split testing. I needed to understand that because for me to understand why something failed, I have to understand what I should be looking at. So if I don't even know what my numbers look like, you know, of course, for me, for getting, you know, over before to get 200 people almost to sign up for something and only get seven people to to literally purchase. For most people, that seems like it's a fail because you're like, oh, that's a very small percentage. But in the online marketing world, that's a win. <laughs> you know, And I would have never known that if I hadn't have understood and know the numbers and know when to tweak something, when not to, to mess with it. Like you said, leave the ads alone. You don't know if something is wrong with it. If you haven't let it run for a few days. And I've seen some people even in the group that'll say, know. they run it for like a day and they're like, Oh, <laughs> yeah, <they're freaking> out. <laughs> yeah, I know this is so, I'm, I, this is so exciting for me because you're like, ima can you imagine prior to 2016, you talking like this about, oh numbers and online marketing and this is what I wish everyone who's just starting like I wish you could understand that you're learning a new language so Absolutely. if you're listening to this and you're like what are they talking about it's just because you're new it's just because it's new so mm -hmm. when you when you approach it from a I have to learn and and I have you know my courses kind of put people into the water where you're learning as you're doing but right. <laughs> Right. When you, when you learn as you're doing, and all of a sudden you, you can talk a little bit of Facebook ads language. You can talk about sales pages and conversions. It's incredible how much you learn so quickly. And sometimes we just have to stop and say, Whoa, like, look at, look at all of this growth. Like you're now, you know, your numbers, you know, you we're talking about an opt-in page that converts above 50%. Or mm -hmm. we, we did the math on your, on your sales conversions. You're converting 4.3 from cold traffic. Like, can you imagine what warm traffic is? So it's like, right. you know that, and this is not, guys, this is not, she got, she came into the program and she launched and all of a sudden everything happened, right? This is like testing. This is trying. This is rejigging messaging. This is changing mm -hmm. the Facebook ads. This is testing different ads. Like this is building a business. But once you right. know, like once you've dialed it in and you have that offer, that front end offer, the lead magnet that converts, you know, you have an audience that want the offer, which is like something that always blows my mind because we always assume but <laughs> it could be something small on the messaging that's it's wrong. like, you need this. You, you need, need me. You need <laughs> me. Trust me. I'm amazing. Right. And it could be the exact same program, but it's just marketed different. It's got a different headline. It's got a different, it's got different messaging. But when Absolutely. we, when we don't exactly like you said, when we don't shy away from the numbers, and we take a look and see what's happening and we go again and again, you've dialed in your lead magnet, you've dialed in your targeting, you've dialed in, you know, your offer, you've dialed in, you know, that challenge that works for you. Now it's just a matter of like looking at your numbers and saying, can I do it again? Right. right? And then when you do it again, you're like, okay, now you're at the point in your business where you're like, everything is working. Now I have to spend because I know, you know, I'm making money on the other side. Mm -hmm. You know, your beta launch, um, you spent, I think it's like under a hundred bucks and your profits were over 3000. Yes. So, I mean, any business coach would say, do that, <laughs> like <laughs> spend, spend 10 grand. You know what I mean? Right. But, like, That's when we're going back like, man, I wish I would have spent more. Right? But you have to prove to yourself, right. That you have an offer that you have, um, an offer, you have a, you have a lead magnet, you have messaging that converts and 
this is where I love online marketing because the, the, it's our job as marketers, Mm -hmm. right? It's our job as marketers to know, you know, that we have something that converts and to give you guys an example, um, Angela had, was in a little competition with her husband over the opt-in page. (laughs) So they put out a lead magnet and she had one and he had one. So they were going to see which one converted better. So his converted at 23%, 23% and yours converted at 52%. Right. So just for anyone who's, who's brand new, <laughs> the opt-in page is the page that you're going to send traffic to where they enter their name and email and get a freebie. So that page converting high means that more people are opting in and, and becoming a lead. So what were the changes between the two? Like, What were the differences between the two pages? The differences between the two pages were that one was more of a, uh, his was more like a white background with all of the information because he feels like information needs to be you know, front and center, and the page wasn't as as long. Um, the page that I did had more of a, a, a unique, more unique feel in it. It had, you know, a pictured background, and you scroll down, and then it had some more messaging, and it just kind of spread things out some, and then the, the positioning where we had the timer, because we had a countdown timer before, you know, the, the challenge was to start I moved that one up. So just some, some different yeah. nuances like that. And I think I changed the title, the headline on mine to say something just a little bit different. Um, and, you know, that was what started working. And we were like, I was like, this is it. So I was like, sorry. <laughs> I win. I win. But guys, this is what is so, um, this is what's so exciting about marketing because having it done is one thing. But knowing that you have two pages with the exact same offer, they were both going into your five day free challenge and one did like double of what the other one did, which means your ad costs were half Mm -hmm. and and you you did double the profits. If you kept running traffic to an opt-in page that was at 23% versus 50, you would have had half the results. Right. Right. And that's a small sample. But when you really nerd out on these things when you really get to the point in your business where okay it's done now let me optimize let me optimize my messaging let me win at every stage of this then it's just the traffic is out there and this is where i wish people just gave you know had enough patience to get to this stage and troubleshoot enough to get to where you're at which is so hard like like the hard part's over because you're talking to yourself now (laughs) that you can do it. The hard part is over. It's getting to where you're at, where you're at the point of, okay, let me look at my numbers or, you know, troubleshooting through that tech that you think you're never, ever going to figure out or that kind of stuff. What would you say to someone who is just like not techie? They're listening to you and I, and they're like, look at these two nerds, right? And they're just like, I, because I'll tell you, I used to listen to people talk about online marketing and I was like, that's not (laughs) me. That is not me. So what would you say to someone who's just like, what are these people talking about? I would say if you're not very techie, because that's my husband on on that side. He's not very techie. So I'm always showing him diagrams and trying to explain it to him. But it's something that- like your whiteboard out. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Our papers. I mean, I'll show you like we have this this whole- You're like, oh my God, that's so awesome. (laughs) We're drawing funnels out. So good. That's so good. This is, you know, how it it happens, but I think that it's something that you have to work at daily and not, you know, give up. And sometimes because we're on in an online world, so many people have a different perspective of how they teach a certain system. Like if it's lead pages or if it's, you know, whatever type of opt-in page or MailChimp or ConvertKit, so many people are out there that have how-to videos on how to use it. There's bound to be someone out there that you can resonate with even if it doesn't, you know, if you don't get it from inside the the vault. I mean, and it's all there for you, but sometimes you just have to keep hearing it over and over again. And then you can see it from different angles and say, okay, this is what I need to do. But if you don't make an attempt at it or try it, and of course, test, test and retest (laughs) everything, because, you know, it, it's just that matter of sticking with it. It's once you are able to get a positive, something positive about it. And I, and I love when I see those, uh, those wins inside the group where someone says, yes, I finally launched my, my landing page. You know, know. that's a big accomplishment, especially yeah. if you're not really techie and you're yeah. talking about putting all this information in there and pixels. And I remember 
oh man, that used to just seem like it was so I overwhelming. I know, you think you're like coding. <laughs> right? I, I had to step back and say, no, just one thing at a time. If I could just master one thing at a time, then I'll be better for it. Especially if you don't have, because everyone, especially at first, you don't have the resources to just hire out VAs and have them let everyone do everything for you. Um, but you, if you can just kind of like calm down, like I said, and trust calm that process, down. <laughs> calm down, trust calm the down. process and take it one system at a time. You know, yeah. if you're in the, if you're on the offer page and you're, you're needing to do that, take that until you can master that portion and then move on. Because it's, when you look at it, we're not in a race. I used to think that we were in a race, I like know. I have to get it quick, you know, get it out there. But if you're not in a race and, and if you feel confident about every step before you move forward to the next one, it's going to be even better for you. I love that you're saying this. And I, and even like about the hiring part, like I remember when I was just starting in the online world, everyone's like, I need a VA. I need a like right, we, right away. And then it's like, it's the worst thing that you could do because if you had a VA, someone building all your pages, mm -hmm. as someone who's running your business, Right. You need to know how to do things. Right. So I've done everything in my business. Now, of course, I have a whole team of people. But what if my Facebook ads team is talking to me about ads and I don't know what they're talking about? Absolutely. <laughs> I have a handle on what's going on. If you didn't have those two pages that you were split testing, I don't know if you knew that it was split testing or A-B testing, you mm -hmm. wouldn't know what headline, that moving a headline around could work, that moving timers around, that changing the background color. Like we are marketers, like we have to take this on and we're only going to take it on when we stumble to that point in the process. And, right. you know, this is, entrepreneurship like how many hours when I just started building my online business was I over the weekend trying to get one page up which I could do in my yes. two seconds now I had to right. go through that just like you did just like I'm sure a lot of people are now so it's just a part of the gig it is it's just a part of it but it I, I mean I just can't resonate that more just trust the process and when once you're able to do that it's not um it's not as as big as it seems yeah. to us, it seems like it's at that moment in, in oh, time when you're trying to get something done and you're stuck, it seems like it's the biggest. I know, you feel like you're world. never gonna figure it out. <laughs> like you're never gonna figure it out. Can you but, remember like all the little things that you thought you weren't gonna figure out now, whereas if it was like a problem now, you'd be like, what was that? Right, <laughs> right, and that was so, oh my goodness. It was like so many moving parts that I didn't know existed. It's like, what, I need what, a who? I know, I totally get it. And the other, and so then what it reminded me of was back to the time where when we were first starting in our nonprofit and we knew nothing about nonprofit language and we would be sitting in meetings and they would be talking and it sounded like foreign language to us then. Now that we, you know, are experts in our field and you look back those years later, you say, you know, there's going to be a growth and learning curve for everything. And for everyone that's out there, whatever you specialize in now, you were not always a specialist. hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> right. You were not always a specialist. You started somewhere. So just think back. And if you think back to that process and know what it feels like now to to feel good about and totally confident about what yeah. you do, then, you know, it's that's humbling, right to be back at the back at the beginning. Right. It's humbling to just say, OK, right. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about this. I, I want to know something about this and like put your learning hat on and just be OK with, you know, it's it's not wasting time if you've spent you know, half of the day, a whole day, maybe not getting anything done and you figure something out like that. Those are skills that right. we need to build this business. Absolutely. A hundred percent. And those are skills that um, are going to just grow over time. And um, it's when always they grow. You'll you be, you, you'll be like Angela here having data programs that like, I don't even data programs and split testing. ROI and split testing and like, who knows what else, but I, I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for your energy inside the Build Your Empire group. It is just so awesome. As a coach, when people follow the steps and they get wins, like that's like, it's like my baby. Like there's nothing like it because you just want people to follow the steps and like see what's on the other side. And like, there's nothing I can do to, to like beg you more than I do inside the group to follow the steps. So yes. it's so awesome um, that you are getting results. And I cannot wait, like, 
I, I don't even know what it's going to, I'm going to be picking your brain about marketing. I'm sure if you've been learning this class, I'm going to teach me some things. Uh, it is just yes. awesome. I can't wait to see what you do with this. And your work is so purpose driven. Like you're working with nonprofits and helping get them, you know, get them off the ground and get that funding, which is what they need to, to go out there and make a difference in the world. So um, that just gives me goosebumps. I'm just so excited to have, to have gotten to, to meet you like this and to um, yeah. have you in my program. Thank you so much. It's been, it's been a thrill ride and I can't wait, you know, until the next step in the next step and uh, to, to bring back my more, more and more wins. Uh, you know, now this is, this will be the second week of me actually teaching my group coaching. Uh, so, does it feel so good? It, it does. It feels really good that I'm able to say, okay, you know, everything is, is, is good because I know this and I know that it works. And so like you were saying before, and then once I launch it again, and then I can do it again and I can get it to where I want it to be, because of course we want to all go out the gate evergreen, just say, okay, I've done it. <laughs> Make money while we sleep. Right. Make money while we Make sleep. Make money while we sleep. Go to Costa Rica. <laughs> right. I want that just to happen like, you know, like that. And it, it, it's coming, but it's not here, right? It's not here yet. <laughs> so I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what you do with this. And, and if you need anything, you reach out and um, I'm here for you. And I just, I love what you guys are doing. Um, you and your husband, I'm going to post a link to your website. If anyone is launching a nonprofit or is interested in um, launching a nonprofit, you guys have to check out the work that they're doing. They're incredible. Um, I'm going to be keeping a close eye on what you're up to and your strategy. And I, I will nerd out with you any day. All right. Sounds good to me. Thank you so much for having me on. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll talk soon. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.